expansion in sports betting, enticing our kids and leading to more gambling addiction, drug abuse, and crime. One of the tribal casinos bankrolling Prop 26 regularly allows underage gambling. And nothing in Prop 26 stops underage gamblers from betting on sports in a tribal casino. Vote no on Prop 26. It's your journey. Own every mile in the Hyundai Santa Fe. The Santa Fe comes standard with complimentary maintenance and America's best warranty. Vehicles arriving daily. See your SoCal Hyundai dealer. Check out my Playscape two-piece sectional. The $12.99 price tag makes it great. The two colors and five decorative pillows makes it greater. The comfy pop-up sleeper with Baba Pedic memory foam makes it greater. -er -er. Get boss discount. Greater. -er -er. Now's the time for cleaner indoor air with an air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer. You've known us for carpet cleaning, but we've been cleaning air ducts for over 20 years. We do things the right way, cleaning your entire system. So if you need an air duct cleaning, call 1-800-STEAMER today. Good morning, everyone, and the time is, I should have checked before, 929. That's what time it is on this Tuesday. A beautiful day shaping up except for the big time heat. Excessive heat warning on until tonight, 8 o'clock, and the heat advisory continues until 8 o'clock Wednesday. And I do believe that warning might be extended or at least put down to an advisory. Uh, it is hot out there, 95 today in Orange County Inland, down to 82 and 84 for Sunday and Monday. San Fernando Valley, uh, big time heat, 106. And even with the cool down, it's still at 103 degrees. Saturday and Sunday, 89, 90, Monday, 91 degrees. At set, Frank and Jessica, back to you. Mark, thank you. A teenage girl remains missing after police say she was kidnapped by her father yesterday afternoon in Fontana. Investigators say that man shot and killed his estranged wife. KTLA's Jean Kang, live in Fontana with the details for us. Jean, good morning. Good morning, Frank and Jessica. This is such a tragic story here in Fontana, and I just learned from police that the victim in this tragedy was 45-year-old Tracy Martinez. As you see, there's a growing small memorial out here in front of the family's home. Now, this is all happening as police are searching for the accused killer, that woman's husband. These child abduction alerts are along the freeways. You may have noticed them all over social media as well. Take a look. CHP issued an Amber Alert in four different counties. They say 45-year-old Anthony Graziano is armed and dangerous. It's believed he took his 15-year-old daughter Savannah Graziano against her will. He's described as 5 foot 4, 150 pounds with a Frankenstein tattoo on his neck, driving a white 2017 Nissan Frontier with California plates 44305G2. It has an overlanding rack on the bed of the truck and distinct Pro 4X animal sticker on the back. You're urged to call 911 if you see them or the vehicle. Now this morning, Kelly Lane, a very close family friend, stopped by the memorial here in Fontana. He is heartbroken and made this emotional plea to Graziano. I saw that you dropped off some candles. You know the father? Yes, I do. Um, we rode together at the BMX. I rode with the son, spent time with them all. He was a single dad trying to do what he could for his, for his kids, being in the situation he was in. Didn't need to be this way. How it ended up this way, I don't know. Your kids are left. They're going to be all you have, no matter where you're at. It's bad, but it don't make it worse. Don't leave them without both of them. The deadly shooting happened in public yesterday morning. Violence broke out here at Cypress Avenue and Mallory Drive in Fontana, not far from several schools. Detectives say Graziano was involved in a domestic fight with his wife. Witnesses say the victim yelled for help as she was being chased. Gunfire went off and she fell to the ground. The wife died at the hospital. Witnesses say they heard about 20 gunshots. Now back out here live, we're going to hear from those witnesses uh, coming up new in the 10 o'clock hour and also more detailed information from police. They have a little bit more family history and the possibility of what led up to this tragedy. Reporting live here in Fontana, Gene Kang, back to you in the studio.
All right, Gene, thank you for that. Gas prices uh, surged overnight with L.A. County seeing the biggest one-day jump since 2015. Take a look. Prices jumped about 12 cents since just yesterday. This morning, the price of a regular gallon of unleaded gas in L.A. County is $5.96. In Orange County, $5.94 today. San Bernardino, $5.84. Riverside County, $5.80. Ventura County is waking up to an average of $5.90 a gallon. Series of planned and unplanned refinery maintenance issues have tightened the gasoline supply in our state. Experts say that's why prices are climbing. By the way, the national average for gas is $3.75. A new study has found more than half of public school principals say they don't have enough teachers for their classrooms. Researchers at the U.S. Department of Education released their findings this morning, and they say teacher shortages are most common for special education and elementary grades. They were followed by math and bilingual education classes. Principals also reported that they were short on transportation workers and custodians, along with mental health staff. Researchers say one major problem in hiring is there are just too few candidates for each job. Uh, if you're looking for work, a new report is revealing the industries in California where demand is the highest. The LA Times looked at recent employment data and spoke to local economists. In their view, the highest demand for jobs is in the leisure and hospitality industry. That includes cashiers, hotel staff, and theme park workers. Fast food restaurants also need to fill hundreds of thousands of positions by 2023. With an aging population, <clears throat> positions for home health care aides are set to surge. Warehouse jobs also growing. Rounding out the list, truck drivers and workers in the green energy sector. How are you? How are you? Thanks for having me. Doing well. Thanks, Sophia. The movie is called Emily the Criminal, and it first premiered at Sundance. Critics loved it, and following its August theatrical release date, the audience loved that too. So why is yeah. this movie so darn good? Uh, well, uh, you know, people do seem to love it. I think, I think because it's very relevant. If it came out, you know, 10 years from now or 10 years ago, I think it kind of just holds a, a relevance. Um, it deals with, you know, a lot of the hot topic things of student debt and what's going on, but also how far you know, some people are willing to go. And I think that that's always, you know, in these crime dramas, I think it's something that we all attach ourselves to because, you know, you try to see what people are capable of and maybe what you might even be capable of. And we read that you actually had not seen anything that Aubrey Plaza had done before joining <laughs> the movie. So not a Parks and Rec <laughs> loyalist. Uh, and that two Zoom conversations somehow convinced you to join the cast? Yeah, I'm, 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 uh, I'm now currently obsessed with her. I, 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 she's one of my favorite human beings on the planet, and um, <laughs> she's just so unique, and she's absolutely incredible in this role. And um, we've become really, you know, super tight friends from this. Um, but no, I hadn't been super familiar with her previous work, and now I'm familiar with all of it. Um, <laughs> every single part of her library, I am well aware. All the deadpan joking didn't <laughs> yeah, deter you. Uh, that's my favorite. Her, her, her late night and her, um, her hosting of the Independent Spirits and all her stuff on YouTube and, and just her in general. I mean, she's so fantastic in this film. She produced it. This is a labor of love for her. And she's just absolutely amazing. She's one of the few actors working today that...